you, you and I back together again. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty, and we are back. When I say we, I'm talking about the Oval on BET. Actually, I shouldn't say we. I'm saying we like I produce the show or like I work at BET or work for Tyler Perry or something. I, let me rephrase that. Tyler Perry's The Oval is back. After what, three months? Now they're back um, with the 13th episode. And this, I'm telling you, this show is crazy. This is, I call it a comedy. They picked up right where we left off with all the shenanigans now. We saw as we left off, um, the first lady's parents were coming, to that were coming to town. They're here. And you know the first lady is evil as I don't know what. But for some reason, her mama got her shook. She's scared of the mother, and we see her out to lunch with the mom and the children, the grand and the grandma's out here with her grandbabies and all that. And she's got her rules and things she wants done. And the first lady's like, yes, yes, yes. But let's get to the good stuff, the good stuff, the stuff I enjoy. Let's talk about the president. You know the president likes to tip and dip. He got holes on the side. You know, what's that girl's name? Denise, the girl from the boutique, who's also, I think, Ruth's sister. Well, she keeps slipping and dipping and sliding and gliding with the president. So she's up in the White House with him. And as we saw in episode 12, she's, you know, the side piece is in many pieces now. <laughs> <laughs> they done cut the girl's head off and you know limbs are over here and all that so this episode picks up Kyle walks in finds Mr. President uh, passed out blood all over him there's blood everywhere there's blood on the bed there's blood on the carpets and like I said homegirl I name is Denise right homegirl's head is on the <laughs> who beheaded her why y'all just didn't shoot why y'all just didn't shoot and just do like, oh, poison. Or what's with all this beheading and limbs everywhere? Well, anyway, they beheaded her. So Kyle is cleaning up. He got his gloves on and he's cleaning up the mess. And I'm laughing because I'm laughing like, okay, this is Secret Service. This is the president. We got one man cleaning up the mess. Get the crew in there. You know, y'all gonna lie about everything and spin the story anyway. Get a crew up in here and clean this mess up. But Kyle is handling it all by himself. He got his... His, uh, what you call that, laundry cart or whatever. He got the cart. He's putting the bloody sheets in there. Uh, he put the head in there. But now here's the crazy thing, the thing that made me laugh. Kyle, all that blood on the bed, Kyle flipped the mattress over. <laughs> I was laughing. Let me tell you why. He flipped the mattress over like this was his, like a child. You know when a kid pees the bed and your mother flips the mattress over on the good, the clean side down and puts some baby powder down there and calls it a day. But this ain't what you do with no blood. That You saw all that blood? So we just gonna flip it on over, make the bed up, and you know. Then I, you know, he took the uh, president, put the president in the shower, tell him you gotta clean yourself up. The president is high as a kite. He's just lit. He don't remember nothing. He don't know his little side pieces and pieces. She gone. She gone. He's getting the shower. I was laughing again because Kyle puts him in the shower. But I'm like, Kyle, the president still has on his boxers. You should have or his box of briefs, whatever. You should have told him to take that off because that's evidence, too. I'm pretty sure some blood on there, too. You got to get rid of all of the evidence. So Kyle, Kyle is cleaning up and taking care of all that. Now, another interesting thing that happened. Y'all remember Muscle Dude? Old Muscle Dude who was hired by Kyle to sleep with Lily at the airport. Well, he's in the car with Lily and he's telling Lily, you know, he has something to tell her and he dropped a bomb on her. Yes, he did. He pulled out photographs of her man getting it on. With Kyle, so now his secret is out there, and she's doing her. What is this? What is this? Is this real? Um, do it look Photoshop to you? Look real to you? It's real, sister. Your man is on the down low. He creeping with Kyle, or he was creeping with Kyle. So that secret is out. That secret is out. Now here's a funny scene with that Lily. She's pissed off about this. Oh, this was funny. So she's like, well, that explains it. You know, 
why I came to you so easily at the airport because I was lonely. Oh, no, I thought it was just because you was a hoe. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't call you a hoe. I thought it was just because you was easy because, okay, you're being neglected by your husband, so you just go on slot up with a complete stranger in the damn airport bathroom. That's... You just a freak, that's all. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But I understand. She's trying to say she's, you know, <laughs> she's trying to say that she is, uh, you know, she was lonely and know that's and she wanted to know, you know, did my husband hire him for me? You know, she she wants to know all this stuff. She's like, you know, what, what um was that a part of the plan? He's telling her he knew she was lonely too because he could feel how she held him so tight. So old boy is catching feelings for her. Okay, she shot you. You catching feelings for her now? All right. So now Lily goes on over to the White House, and now she's going to seduce her husband. And, you know, she's a fine, fine, fine woman. And she comes up there, she kicks the leg up, and she's, like, flirting and rubbing his chest and all this stuff. And he turns her down. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you? Why would you turn this woman down? Fine as she is, listen, I would have locked that door and I would have towed her up. You Not tore, tow, tow her up. Like, that's hot right there. That's what keeps the marriage going in your relationship. You know, you, that role playing out. You know, your wife walk in. I'm, I'm telling my business now. Your wife walk in and interrupt you. You in the office. She come in and she seduce you. That is hot. That's how you know homeboy is gay because he turned that down. And she had a leg up all on him. She, she was throwing it on him. And he turned her down. And when he did that, that's when she started asking questions. She was like, did you hire that guy to come in? And did he ask her, did you sleep with him? And she flipped it on him. She said, did you sleep with him? I was like, aha. And then she threw the evidence in his face showing you was messing with Kyle. You been sleeping with Kyle? And he said, and she said, so you're gay? He said, nah. I'm not gay. It's just an attraction thing. Only with him that I have sex with the same sex. Okay. But nobody else. So I'm just attracted just to Kyle. It's just with Kyle. But I, 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 what do you say? I, um, I broke up with him for you. Yeah, but dude, you won't, you won't get it on with her. You see, you wouldn't have had this problem if you would have just got it on with her. But dude, you're gay. And, you're gay and you, listen, let this girl go free. But no, when she says she wants a divorce, he tells her, listen, I got hired because I was married and I chose you. And they are not going to let us, let you leave me. And they are not going to let us get a divorce. So I was like, hmm, who's this they? Is this uh, the first lady's parents? Is this, I need to meet this big group who's controlling everything. Because that's who the they must be. So he tells her, listen, no, you, you. You staying with me. And Lily's over it. She's ready to leave. She's ready to ready to go on home, whatever. She don't want to be bothered. He's like, no, you have to you have to tough this out. I think the first lady wanted to see her or somebody went and he was like, she was he was she was like, I'm going home. He was like, no, no, no. No, trust me. You're staying here with me. Um, what else interesting happened? Nancy and Richard, Barry's parents. This, you know, Barry's parents, they've been through so much with this Barry and the granddaughter missing and the rackadoochie chick blowing her brains out in their house. And now they're being questioned by the police. And this has to be the stupidest police officer on earth because they're telling you that it was a suicide. Um, don't the police have experience and can tell what by the way things are handled you can tell if she shot herself or not he's questioning nancy and richard saying hey um you sure you didn't kill her and all this stupid stuff you can tell listen i ain't no cop or anything like that but i know you can tell when someone's done a suicide you look at how the scene of the crime investigate the scene of the crime before you start accusing people of stuff but you know they're like we're gonna take you down Rich is like, Nancy, don't say nothing. We're just going to go on down here. So they're feeling like they're guilty. Now, the hilarious part to me on that was up pops this nosy neighbor, and she had the typical <laughs> nosy old lady. What's going on here? Well, who's that? When they pulled the body out, who is that? And he was like, ma'am, let me ask you a question. 
Would you think they would commit murder? Would you think uh, that uh, Nancy and Richard would commit murder? And she gave the sassy, typical, uh-uh, these is God-fearing people, sugar. No way, sugar. And I'm like, okay, who is this lady? Then we see she ends up calling Sam at the White House. Is that his grandmother or his mother? And she's like, listen, Nancy and Richard have got arrested over here and there's a body over here. You got to come deal with this. So Sam goes over to handle that and he talks to the detective and he tells the detective, listen, let me handle this. Do some favors, pull some. And I was thinking, I was saying, why didn't Richard call Sam? Richard used to work in the White House. So didn't he get his job back? You got your job back. You worked in the White House. Why didn't Richard call the White House? Use that White House clout. So anyway, Sam is talking to him and Sam lets him, Sam lets Richard know, listen, uh, we got to figure out what's going on because, you know, there's a lot of evidence mounting up against our boy Barry, who was not in this episode. I didn't see Barry. Barry, you know, the knife. Uh, he was driving the car that has the, the bullet hole from the guy who was shot and killed. Um, there was the thing of money. So they have to question Barry. And then where'd he get this gun from? So um, Richard tells Sam, he says, listen, he got the gun from Picky. So Sam is like, oh, this is fixable. Picky's dead. Picky is dead. Rest in peace to Picky. Picky is dead. And... Sam lets Richard know this, and he says, listen, Richard, we're going to plant everything on Picky. Picky's going to be the one that's going to take the blame because we can save uh, Barry. We can we can just throw this all on him. He's like, but this is my nephew. And he said, listen, but listen, here we go. He was a criminal. He chose that life, so he's already dead. We might as well just dump everything on him. I said, oh, wow, that was... Okay, so we're just going to say Picky's responsible for everything. And he said, oh, and another thing, get Barry to um, try to convince that uh, guy from the pharmacy to drop the charges. Now, I'm saying to myself, you work in the White House. You have all this clout. Why don't you go over to the pharmacy, Sam? And why don't you tell the pharmacist to drop the charges? I mean, you already framing poor Picky, who didn't do anything. Well, he did some stuff, but he didn't. He didn't do any of this stuff that you're going to throw on him. So why don't you go on over there to the pharmacy and convince this guy? Why do you want Barry to do it? You know, come on. So that was that. Um, we also saw tonight's episode, a little funny little moment between the darling first lady and her children where uh, her son was asking her, why is she so shook? Why are y'all so scared of grandma? And the first lady basically said, you all should be afraid of her. And, you know, the daughter was like, I'm not afraid of her. And I want to get out of this family. I want to be, um, you know, emancipated. I want to get out of here. And she said, not until we're out of the White House. And then, you know, in true fashion, the beautiful first lady, good mother that she is, she let her kids know that, you know, you don't embarrass me in front of my mother and I will get payback. And she even, <laughs> she even threatened her son in the car. She's like, keep running your mouth. And he was like, yeah, but we're in public. What you going to do now? And she was like, well, we ain't going to always be in public. I'll smack you up when we get in that White House. And then she said something when she said, she told her daughter, Gail, you're such a waste of light skin. You know, she got this whole thing. They did it. They did a number on the first lady. The first lady just this whole color thing, you know, because when she was growing up, all they saw was just a just dark skin, this and that. They always treated her bad because of her dark skin. And she's telling her daughter, you have you're such a waste of light skin. And I was like, oh, OK. And she was like, because they never saw my the beauty in my brown skin. And then the son makes this thing. Oh, here we go with some slave narratives. I was like. I thought that was humorous. This show entertains me. And this, this episode tonight, I thought was very entertaining. I was glued. I was glued. I was glued. I enjoyed it. Um, let's get on back to, because I think we've handled everything. Let's get on back to our president and to um, Kyle. Kyle is, he's done a good job. He done cleaned everything up. Now he's got to get this stuff. I guess he was, I don't know where he was going with this stuff. I guess he was, 
He's going to take these sheets or whatever, get rid of it, burn it, whatever. But there's a problem. Max, y'all remember Max. Max is still pissed off that he lost his position to Kyle. They don't really get along. And so he pulls a little stunt where the elevator is not coming on time. And so now Kyle has this head, the head of the, the mistress <laughs> in the bin all his bloody sheets and stuff. He's trying to get rid of this stuff and the elevator's not coming. When the elevator does come, the maid is on the elevator. And she's like, oh, I'll take this. You know, she want to do the laundry. He's like, no, no, no. And she's like, is that blood? And of course, she reaches in there and he's like, mm. she reaches in there and you see the head. And that was the fakest damn head. <laughs> but it was funny. I was like, boy, these special... They, this show is funny. That head was in the, in there with the bloody sheets and everything. And she screamed, and that's where we left off. But I'm telling you, I enjoyed this episode. What's going to happen next week? I'm glad The Oval is back. It is so entertaining. They make me laugh so hard. I mean, it just, I mean, it really, really just keeps going. So now I want to know what's going to happen Will they be able to pull this thing off with uh, frame and picky for everything? What's Barry going to do? How are they going to... I, I would like to see how that plays out. Um, I want to see how Kyle is going to get rid of the pieces of Denise. You know, he's going. what is he going to do? How is he going to get rid of all of this? And the president done lost his side piece. This is crazy. Um, we have to see what happens next week. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Did you like tonight's episode? I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to next week. I think that's all I have for now. So thank you for watching, as always. Please comment below. Tell me your thoughts on tonight's episode. And have any of y'all watched the spinoff, the Raggadooshies, uh, what's it called? Ruthless? I saw one episode. I reviewed one episode. I couldn't get into that. I, I'm going to stick with my oval. I'm going to stick with my oval. I couldn't get into the, the whole raggadooshy thing. So I'm going to stick with the oval. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Tell me your thoughts on tonight's episode. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. I'm out.